Okay, so all we've got to do is, is scale everything down and also be aware of the, the implications that'll have for the ball. So the ball will still move at this same, at this rate that we've been, have previously been happy with. We'll have to slow down the ball's movement a lot. Okay, so maybe we can just create a new empty game object. We'll just call it uh, arena, reset its position. Oh, actually, no, not arena. Let's call it, let's just call it scale object. Give it a functional name. Okay, put all of our all of our all of our game objects in there. The ones that are that have you know a a a, a body attached to them. The ones that have a mesh. In scale objects, so at the moment it's ten meters by ten meters. If we go up by point one, it'll be one meter by one meter, which is still pretty big. So really, we want it to be maybe half a meter by half a meter. So that could be like. Uh, 0 0.05 by 0 0.05. Okay, zero. Okay, that's a bit squishy. 0 0.05 on all the axes. Okay, now it's tiny. So if we zoom in here, oh, maybe we can bring the bring the bring the device with us. So bring the device way across, way down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and this is where it gets a bit funny because actually working in Unity, working with objects of this size is a little bit fiddly. Okay, that looks pretty good. So it's a little bit. This is just the starting position of the camera relative to relative to the to the game. Okay, and okay, yeah. Now, now we'll notice if we hit play and play just to test it. The ball might move like much faster. You know, crazy, and we, you know, at a different scale, it was very slow. So all we got to do is go ball and change that to yeah, maybe 0.01. See how that looks. Beautiful. All right, that AI controller is looking a little bit. He's looking a little bit too good. The computer paddle. So I'm just going to change his skill level down a little bit, maybe to 0 .0, 0 0.05, 0 0.06. See how that looks. See how that goes. Um, yeah, okay, and just test that one out, and then we can build it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He almost, yeah, he's almost missing. Cool. All right, so we'll give this a little test. Beautiful. Okay, and now we've got the same thing, different, different size, just means we can walk around it, and it's far more, far more, uh, as a interactive, really making use of the six degrees of six degrees of uh, freedom. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. That's that's a wrap, I suppose. Uh, we, we still got the UI to do, and and there's there's other ways. There are other ways that you can implement this. So, uh, one one example is you could use like a uh, uh, what is it like a your position of the camera would be where the ball well where, where the paddle would be rather. The only issue is that then you kind of like you get in the you have to like move your head if you're looking at the thing that you got to move around. It's kind of like uh, those gaze-based games. You know they can be a little bit like using your head as a controller can get a bit dizzying. Um, but yeah, worth worth experimenting with all kinds of things.